Roxanne, join me for a wonderful dining experience. Oh, I'd love to. First, the uh, lollipops. Oh, lollipops. Lollipops. I didn't know we were going to start with dessert. No dessert. <laughs> There's not dessert. That's what I'm saying. Are you sure? Yes, and I'm going to show you in a oh, second. Hi. What we have. Oh, thank you. Thank this you. is a wonderful Jessica. Hi, there you go. You? <laughs> thank you very much, Jessica. Let me put this back. Oh. Let me show you what we have. This, uh, you know, this is pretty much the lollipops, and people think, oh, lollipops dessert. That's exactly what you just said. However, I decided to combine a uh, an appetizer with the lollipops because this is a, again, this is a fun concept, mm -hmm. and this is a fun plate. So I decided to buy the uh, uh, the little plates that usually um, you serve the snails in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, instead, I decided to fill them up with the lollipops. Now, the lollipops are lollipops of uh, smoked salmon with uh, poppy seeds. And we have a mousse of uh, smoked salmon, cream cheese, and um, um, shallots inside. So it's very nice. And we wrap the smoked salmon right around it. And uh, see, we got two of mm -hmm. them over here. And then if we go a little bit here on the right, we have uh, two lollipops, one and two of marinated goat cheese and uh, with extra virgin olive oil, which actually we use this extra virgin olive oil. And it'll be oregano, it'll be extra uh, hot pepper from Sicily. Uh, so it'll be a garlic, so it's very good. Uh, and we wrap it up with the Parma prosciutto. Mm. So we have uh, two different other lollipops. And then here we have a mousse of foie gras. And you can probably ask me, what is the gold leaf? It looks like gold leaf. You're absolutely right. This is uh, edible gold leaf, 23 carats edible gold leaf in which we uh, make the mousse of the foie gras, wow. goose liver, and then we wrap it into the gold leaf. Just, and, it's an eye opener, it's a shocker. And, and you can really eat it that way. You eat it, it's wonderful, it's great. Next, we have another way of actually, let me make a little bit some room here. I believe Jessica is coming with the second dish, and we have a, thank you very much. This is what I like to call the seafood cones. Now you can say, ah, what is this? This is ice cream cones, ice cream holders. And uh, uh, what we done, see, I bought the, uh, the ice cream holders, the cone holders, which they turn. And I decided to, to make a, a little cones of, uh, uh, just with flour mm -hmm. and butter and uh, black pepper. So they, they make, uh, they're made every day on a daily basis and they're very, very crispy, mm. uh, a little bit salty just to prepare the palate for the fish that we have. And let me show you, just starting from the right side here, we have um, a marinated uh, golf shrimp with porcini mushrooms and porcini oil. And then moving up here front, we have uh, uh, salmon, fresh salmon with uh, fresh crispy fennel, uh, sour cream, a little bit of sour cream. And then we have uh, seafood diver uh, scallops which are marinated with, again, with lemon juice and olive oil. And uh, we have a little bit of the shallots. Wow. And again, we have a tuna uh -huh. with toasted almonds and uh, Sicilian green olives and Sicilian hot pepper. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much, it's a fun, again, it's a fun concept. Uh, you eat the lollipops, you eat the seafood cones, you have fun as you eat. Oh! We make fresh pasta every single day. Oh, will you look at Absolutely. this? Absolutely. See, what he's making right now, he's making uh, red beets fettuccine. See, everything from scratch, we make the dough, he cuts it, he rolls it to the machine, we make the dough, so it's a lot of work, but everything is made by hand. Wow. So that's the beauty of it. Yeah. See, he's pretending he's working hard now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there you go, see, we just stretch the dough, and then we go to the machine, we portion it, it's just like Mama used to make it. It's like Mama used and to make just it. Just that now we had the machine, it's much easier. It makes <laughs> much it much easier. Oh, yeah. much easier. <laughs> and uh, this way, actually, we have, oh, there you go. We have, let me show you what we have, Roxana. We have wonderful, let me get out of the way. Oh, there you go, we got the Agnolotti. Agnolotti is Agnolotti. nothing. Agnolotti. No, you have to move your hand, Roxana. <laughs> Agnolotti. Agnolotti. <laughs> That's it. We have uh, wonderful Agnolotti here which are nothing else but pillow pasta. They are stuffed with uh, a mix of ricotta cheese, mm. spinach, and wow. parmesan. And a little bit of mozzarella too. And the sauce, as you can see, is uh, creamy mascarpone cheese with toasted pistachios in shades of uh, parmesan cheese. It's nice. a wonderful tapa. Very small, 
opens up your appetite. Wow. And it's one. So this is all Beautiful. vegetarian. This is vegetarian. Oh, this is a vegetarian. This is a vegetarian, vegetarian tapa, dishes. yes. And over here, what you prepare? Ah, oh, my favorite. <laughs> raviolo aperto. I love ravioli. But no, this is not ravioli. Oh, not hey, ravioli. Raviolo, singular. Raviola. Yes, raviolo. Okay. You know, I'll tell you why. Because if you want, actually want to take a close shot, I'm going to show you exactly what this is. This is a uh, two different kind of pasta dough. You see, the, on the bottom, there is a black sweet ink pasta. Mm -hmm. And we cut into a square. We, we cook it. We place it on the on the plate. What we're doing next, we make a little ragu of fresh lobster and fresh artichoke hearts, a little bit of garlic, saute, a little bit spicy, a little bit of oregano. And what we do, we took a different sheet of pasta to put it on top of it. Now, this time we have a white pasta, white dough with olive oil. And what we do, we just get a little bit of the leaves of parsley or basil, and we create a little bit of pocket between the dough. We roll into the machine that we saw earlier, oh and my we, gosh. we create a little art. So it's a wonderful, it's open raviolo. What? Different way of eating, different way of... What uh, an imagination. This is for you. Oh, I love it. Are you ready? I am. There you go. Am I the first one to join your cooking class then? You are. Yay. There you go. I, this is a very hard task for me because I'm going to have to put my arm around you and... Uh, and oh, I guess you can do it yourself. <laughs> it's a good Italian, you know, what can I say? Now, what would my viewers think? <laughs> I don't know. I think this is exciting. <laughs> Well, you know, you're talking my language when you're talking desserts. That, well, that's it. See, that's why we, we stop here with uh, a little bit of, uh, okay. of uh, uh, class, cooking class. I'm ready. So what we created, we created uh, an illusion of a cigar, mm -hmm. a smoking cigar. David is going to assemble everything together real quick. He's going to show you how to do it. We created a shell for the cigar. And uh, it's okay. That's the uh, ashtray, which is nothing else but a tulip. A sugar mm. tulip, which we're just gonna put a little bit of the mousse right on the plate, otherwise it will slide. We're gonna place the ashtray right in the middle of the plate, actually all the way off center. We create the effect of the uh, ashes inside the ashtray with nothing else but a mascarpone mousse and the uh, ashes, which is a blend of toasted pistachios and amaretto cookies. So we have a little bit of the magic, you have to use your imagination, you have to think this is the ashes from the cigar. Then the second step is to fill up the shell of the cigar, which we make with, uh, it's a very delicate tulip. Very, very delicate tulip. So what we do, we get the, the shell of the cigar and we apply the label, which is a real cigar label. It's a real cigar label? Absolutely, oh it's a real cigar gosh. label. We go ahead and place, see, it already looks like a cigar already. It does. Already. And uh, we put now the stuffing, which is placed at the second, at the moment, whenever we have an order. That's how we do. We fill up both sides, you know, because it's extremely delicate. It's very, very delicate. And uh, the cannolis the can will never look the same again to no, me. No, <laughs> you eat this. Your experience of cannoli is completely different. Now we have to create the the illusion of the ashes in the cigar burning. So we wet a little bit the tip of it, and we put we pretty much go ahead and put the ashes all the way around it. You see, it looks like there is the ashes. It does. It looks just like We powder it a little bit just to give a little bit of the color. And not too much, just a little, a little bit. Because the ladies got a little bit of the color. We place on top of the ashtrays. And then I was thinking, you know, we cannot possibly just serve the cigar like this. I mean, it looks beautiful right now because it it's, it's going to decorate the, the plate with the orange sauce and the raspberry, a little bit of toasted pistachios from Sicily. However, what we had to do, we really had to create the, uh, the illusion of the smoke, the cigar smoking on top of the ashtray and the ashes falling inside the uh, the ashtray. So what we do, we create with the spun sugar, we work with the sugar. You, wait, a, you actually spin your own sugar to make this. Absolutely, absolutely. This is spun sugar and we apply at the order of the cigar and we create the illusion of the smoke. <gasps> and that's how we actually, if I may, there you go, we finish a little bit with chopped pistachios, just a little bit. Create a little bit of the contrast on the white plate and that's how we serve at the moment each cigar slash canola oh my god it's I, you have to be here to really see the creativity that goes into each plate that you serve it's just amazing to me we really have a lot of fun with that you we uh, do have a lot great. of fun with that but how much more fun is it to eat <laughs> ah, it's a wonderful fun to eat
<laughs> Are you ready for that? I am, but you know that? I still have to say, that cannoli has never looked better.